Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Bikini Bomb Tour. This is episode 16 of Bikini Bomb Tour. In the last episode, we took a look at the Dutchman's Graveyard and the Dutchman's Ship in Kelp Forest. In this episode, we will be taking a look at the Bikini Bomb Hospital. So without further ado, let's get started. So this is a place where um, the residents of the Bikini Bottom or outside the Bikini Bomb can come and go and get some health care or whatever. Uh, on the side, we have parking lots for, you know, parking. And then this is like the main, like, drop off and drop in area. And this is where the ambulance will, you know, park up and go. So let's take a good um, fly around really quickly. And I'll show you the back later. But let's just get inside. So once you get inside, you reach the, what I'm going to be calling the waiting room. This is where you wait for your appointment, you know, the most painful part of the hospital trip. And of course, this is the receptionist, so you can talk to her before you have to wait in the waiting room. Or if you're lucky, you may just be able to go inside. But if you say you don't want to wait in the waiting room and you actually have a real emergency, you instead go in here to the ER, also known as an emergency room. And this is the room near where you receive immediate care. This is if you got into a car crash or a boating accident or you got my leg broken. Hey, my leg! So um, this is where you will go for immediate attention. Attention. This is where the um, nurses and observers were set. You know, some storage of personal items. And here we can hold up to three beds. But if we really need to, we can hold more beds. Like, I would say you can hold probably like four beds in case of emergency, or five beds maybe, in case of emergency. But if there's like a huge emergency around town, we can spread to the top floor, the bottom floor, use more offices, so yeah. But three beds is pretty, is plenty for a town this size, I think. And keep in mind, the town of Bikimo only, like what? What's the population of it? Like 500, I think, at most? 520? This is where the reception was set, and this is the um, other entrance, so if you want to go to the ER, you or if you're not going to the ER, you can just go through this hallway and this will take you to the other things. Out there's a parking lot. Oh, it's nighttime, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. See, nighttime. Nothing interesting back here. I should add a few trash cans, maybe. But, you know, right now, just parking lot. Let's go to the front office. This is the front office. This is where the reception was set. This is where he keeps records and um, all that medical stuff. So you can give it to the patient or re collect from the patient. This is where you are set. Sometimes it's two of them. Most times it's just one. Sink and um, counter. Because why not? Um, more place for storage. There's some offices here. This is where the front receptionist was set. To um, type up a paperwork or whatever. Some storage for the ER. Immediate storage. So if you have like some um, medication you want to give to them. You can just put it there. And then you can just pick it up and give it to them. Kind of like that system. Um... And here, I believe, is just storage. It's just massive storage. I think there's a freezer in here, but I might have forgotten to add that. But trust me, just, just pretend if I don't add it, one of these chests is the freezer for the um, for the um, materials we need to take care of patients. This is the interview room. This is where the patient and the um, nurse give an interview about their conditions or why we're coming to hospital or whatever we come here for. So... That is done in here. I should probably name this interview room. Forgot to. This is the cleaning cleaning closet. My my favorite closet. Also known as the janitor's room. And of course, in here is my favorite bathroom. Ah! I forgot to do it in the Dutchman's um graveyard. I should have done that. I should have just done that in like the um perfume department or something. Or maybe even the um one of the um maybe in Jerry Joe's locker. I should have done that in Jerry Joe's locker. That would have been really funny actually. This is the emergency room, like I said before. Um, now, if you go, in these are elevators, go upstairs. Now, if you go upstairs, you reach more of the um, office and clinic space. If you start from the left, you can see the bathroom again, second floor bathroom. Um, out here is the emergency exit. In case of an emergency, you just run out here and go downstairs. Be careful because there's no railing, so that's a cold violation right there. These are the elevators for the second floor. Um, and here is some more beds in case, you know, you want a spatula key. That's very funny. Remember when Spongebob broke his spatula and he went to the ER? I'm oh, sorry, to the, um, hospital or ER, whatever. Yep, this is where he stayed to take care of spatulas because, you know, 
the ER is for people, spatula kit is for spatulas, and also people if you need it, so, lol. <laughs> but yeah, this is where um, Spatch Spatchy sat when he was um, being treated for his um, injuries, being snapped in half. Oh, this is the cactus treatment, but before we do that, this is Dr. Gil, Gil sorry, Dr. Gil Gilliam's um, office. This is the main doctor for the hospital. You see him all the time, the purple fish. And um, this is his office. Very simple, very nice. Window way up there because, you know, we'll miss up the front or the facade. So I way up there. And you might remember this treatment. I call this cactus treatment. Remember when Hans grabbed Patrick because he, he was quote unquote sick after SpongeBob got um, treatment? Patrick got treatment and he got rubbed on a cactus or cacti in this case. So, yeah, this is for hands. This is a um, really good treatment for saw starfishes. And right next to this, this is not a permanent location, this can move a little right. But right next to this is how Han's office. This remember that huge um hand that that is like the realistic hand that goes above water and goes down and can grab creatures. Yep, that is this. This is the hand. This is his office. This is hands polo to get into the real world. So every time you see him in SpongeBob House or somewhere else, he goes to this portal and he go anywhere in the bikini bottom to grab people or to make the make um SpongeBob a better show and to save people from their deaths. Hans got a lot of jobs here, but you know, this is his office though. I guess he's in a Medicare or whatever, or in the medical field. Um, this is the lounge storage. This is where the employees and nurses will sit. They all get your locker or some extra storage, whatever. So this is where the nurses and the employees would come. This is the cleaning room slash utilities room. Some pipes, chest, storage, and access to the roof. I remember my school had actually a trap. I don't know what type of trap, but it has some type of trap before you get to the roof. To, to encourage people from going to the roof. Um, through this door, we have um, a private um, room for a patient and another private room for a patient. Right here. Very amazing. And at the end of the hallway, we have the scan. This is a scanning room. CAT scan, x-ray, whatever they do here. This is where it happens. So you can click data what goes on inside of you or whatever else. And that is the tour of the, for the hospital. See, I completely remodeled inside because beforehand it didn't make any sense. But now I think it makes a lot more sense what's going on compared to um, in the last map. If you want to check out my last map, just check out Season 1 and look for the hospital. If you remember, I may put the link in the description below. Alright, this is the hospital. Now, we're going to move on to Eugene Crab's house, so be right back. We have arrived very fast. That was a very fast um, walk from the hospital. So, um, let's get started, but before we do that, let's go into the garage. Before we do that, quick overview, very simple, anchor, and, you know... Kind of shaped like a house. But anyway, let's get into the garage. Remember when sponge currents fly or whatever, that episode? And one of the tasks was to clean Mr. Krabs' garage. And this is it. Still looks very clean after all these years, after SpongeBob cleaned up this place. So, very nice chest, construction equipment, which I bet he never uses, glass furnaces, wet paint. Don't spit so much or too much. Because you know the wet paint will just fall off because the paint comes out with comes off with survivor, which is your spit. And now it's going to the main house itself. I mean, oh well, I may change that before the map is released. I think I can still improve this building by quite a bit because I didn't really change outside of it. But I think I really should. But I don't know if I will. But we will see. It's definitely out of date, I think. This is like old construction of what I, how I used to build in Minecraft. Pretty bad, I know. This is the main room. This is where SpongeBob had to paint the whole, all the walls. And he had to paint all his knickknacks because for some reason we didn't want to take them off. So we painted around them. And of course, from doing that, they messed up their, Mrs. Mess, they messed up Mrs. Krabs' first ever dollar. After all those years. And I wasn't here. Oh, that's a bathroom. Ugh. Couldn't hear myself. But yeah, 
Vincent Mistercraft's first dollar. But don't worry, that's no big deal because we have technology. Ooh, technology. <laughs> Remember that when Spongebob and Patrick smashed his computer? I'm sorry, mashed the computer after saying we have technology. That's what that reference from. This is where Mrs. Puff stored his, um, Mrs. Puff, I mean Mr. Crab stores his tapirs. And right on the, sh on the shelves right there. So that's what's to represent that. Vending machine, which Mr. Krabs has for some reason. Why he has it, I have no idea. And of course, all the paintings you, is to represent all his knickknacks. Down here is Mr. Krabs' kitchen. Very nice, very clean, very simple. Fridge, freezer, sinks, you know, all the clean stuff you need to eat. <laughs> or whatever you do in kitchens. And here, once you guess what in here is, take a, just a swag guess. This is Mrs. Puff's room. As you can see, it's pretty nice. A huge update from last map. Um, you can see I put pink floors, blue walls to make it more like Pearl's room. Her bed is huge because, you know, she is a huge whale after all. This is the mirror, so you can uh, make up herself or do whatever um, she does to make herself look pretty. And some place to hang your clothes up. And that's it for Mrs. Puff's, um, oh gosh, Pearl's room. I keep saying Mrs. Puff, why do I keep saying that? In here, I believe is the bathroom, second floor bathroom. I'm sorry, basement bathroom. And in here, oops, no. In here is Mr. Crab's room. Very simple. This is how sailors used to sleep. His bed right there. And you remember what Mr. Crab dreamed of not too long ago while he was asleep? Well, let's find out. To Let's go into Crab's dream. Or Mr. Crab's dream. And this is it. Stuck on a ship. And we are stuck on a ship because of... Uh, I thought I had it here. The money moving dollar. Which Spongebob and Mr. Crab's tried to catch. Well, Spongebob. But, you know... Mr. Krabs got, I mean, Spongebob got distracted, and he had to, you know, and he was, um, fired. And lost the dollar, the moving dollar, but got a lot of pennies from it, so that's not too bad. So, yeah, that's what this is references for. Remember when Spongebob invaded dreams and went to see who was people dreaming of? And that was what Mr. Krabs was dreaming of, so I think that was a cool little reference right there. Very simple. And before we leave, um... We have the cellar. This is where Mr. Krabs cook his cry patties. I don't remember the episode so well, but I remember Mr. Krabs like this had his cry pie making machine here, and he was missing the ingredients which was love. So, yeah. And this is where he stored his, um, I think, cry patties. So, interesting, right? <laughs> I hope he doesn't use it anymore because, you know, those were probably made out of real paper or napkins or whatever. So, yeah. And I bef and I think that's it. But before we leave, I don't know how many times I'm gonna say that. But before we leave, if we go upstairs, which is really downstairs, we have the cellar. M well, whatever this room is called. But remember, Mr. Krabs had all this room of beers on his wall everywhere. And to crash Pearl's party, he pretty much drank all these beers or wood beers, or whatever. And then he exploded and chased down Mrs. Puff's. I mean Pearl's um friends. Yep, that was that episode. And uh, Mr. Krabs ended up paying a lot of that to have a private party at Goo Lagoon. And to a security guard to keep him out. This is the balcony of Mr. Krabs' anchor, as you can see. You can see the city hall right over there, just to give a um, representation where we are. And yeah, and that is it for Mr. Krabs' house. You might, be, might notice I built everything underground, and that is because originally I built everything underground. And it would be kind of hard, not impossible, especially today, but um, quite hard to fit his um, Pearl's room, the kitchen, and Mr. Krabs' room in the anchor itself. But I really could have, you know, make Pearl's room here, the kitchen in here, and um, Mr. Krabs' room in there, and put the um, kitchen in the main room, oh, sorry, in, in here as well. And then downstairs can be like the wet paint room. And yeah, that could have been better, but I just but I was lazy, lazy, and kept everything on the ground. And also, I didn't want to warp because I really didn't need to, and I didn't want to warp too much. And that is it for this episode of the tour of the Bikini Bottom. 
Um, before we leave, I fix this. So I'll let you guys um, find out what I fix. I think the population is 518. It could be a little bit more, but I don't remember. Anyway, folks, thanks so much for watching. If you like this episode, please leave a like. If you hate it, please leave a dislike instead. But if you enjoyed it, please even consider subscribing. I see you all in the next one. Take care and bye-bye.